Now we are going to see how to use what we just learned about the periodic table arrangement to see how we can save ourselves some time with uh, when it comes to noble gases, or I'm sorry, whenever it comes to doing electron configurations using something called the noble gas shortcut to electron configuration. So let's take uh, an example here of three just uh, different elements. We have calcium, it has its uh, electron configuration and cobalt has has what it has and bromine has it you can you can, if you like you can pause the video and verify that those are correct but I kind of think that they are and if you look at these I want to point something out I want to point something out that uh, they all start out the same and they kind of end differently and uh, so I'm gonna kind of do this I'm just going to put some brackets around these things and look at like this. Oops, that should be, that six should be included. So there, uh, put some brackets around here. And so if we see, we basically start 1s2 through 3p6. And if you count them up, that would be uh, 2, 4, 10, 12, 18 electrons. And 18 electrons is, uh, if we look at our periodic table of the elements, 18 electrons would be right here that is argon. So what we've found is that every one of these, if we wanted to, we could have, instead of writing out all of this stuff, we could have just said, well, calcium is like argon, and then what do we have next for us too? And cobalt is like argon, and then the rest for s 3 d 7 um, uh, Bromine, then, bromine is like argon. And then we finish with that 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. So I've just shown you some uh, shortcut ways to say the same thing. And you might ask, well, why did we start, you know, we could have enclosed the 4s2 on these as well, but at that point we would have been uh, having them all be like calcium. And we could have done that, but that, if we look back here at the periodic table, yeah, that would have worked for all of these, but what if we had wanted to do uh, potassium? Well, it wouldn't have worked for potassium, and what we want to do here, the whole point here is we want something that'll work for anything in the same row. And so if you look, what I did was I actually started here, which was argon, which was the last, what was that? That was the last noble gas before the row we were interested in, before our row, uh, because the ones that I did there were all in this same row. I think, is it bromine I did? I don't remember. I'll see you in a minute. So. Those are, uh, they're all in the same row, and so whenever we want to do the shortcut, we just kind of, rather than write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, rather than write all that out, we just write, well, argon. And then from there we go across here. So how can we use this uh, in a short, effective way to get the uh, shortcut electron configuration? Well, let's do it with uh, maybe something from a different group, a different row. Let's do, uh, I don't know, let's do tin. Tin, SN. So the first thing that we want to look at is we want to go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to the last noble gas before tin, which is krypton. So we're going to start with krypton. Now, back on that last example, we just kind of looked and saw, well, what what was after that, what, what was there, and we just copied it down here. Well, if we're going from scratch, we can't do that. We don't know what comes after that, so we have to use what we know about the periodic table. So, in the last video, we learned about how each little subsection has its own kind of label, 4s, 3p, whatever. Uh, so this would be 4p, this one would be 5s, this would be 4d, etc. And so, if we know that, what we can do is we can just kind of count over from krypton and keep in mind we're starting at krypton we're wanting to do an electron configuration for tin you may or may not be able to read it on here but krypton has 36 electrons tin has 40 or 50 50 electrons 
And so as you can see, if we've got krypton, we've already taken care of 36 of the electrons. And we need to take care of an additional 14 in order to be done. So for, for this uh, particular activity, what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, it starts with krypton. And then we have 14 more to put. Well, where do those go? Well, they're going to go in these sublevels, right? So what are those sublevels? Well, we learned yes, uh, in the last video that that sublevel is 5s. So after krypton, we go to 5s. And how many can live in an s? Well, it's 2. And then after that, we get to this section here, which is the 4d section. And that one can hold 10. Now we need to stop and count. We need 14. We've just got 12. So we only need two more, which is makes sense because we're only two now away from that 10 space. So uh, that section there, 2, 3, 4, 5, P, and we're going to need two. And there you go. That's it. That's That 36 is not part of it, but that uh, that is your electron configuration with a noble gas shortcut for 10. Maybe we should do one more before we, uh, woo, that was crazy. Uh, we'll do one more before we shut this off. Uh, this one will go a little faster because <coughs> it's not that fun to sit and watch these videos, I would imagine. Oh, wait, or is it, or is it? Oh, I don't know. Tal base, tal base. So let's do one for, actually, let's do one, uh, one of these down past the uh, F block because those get a little confusing to some people. Uh, let's do tungsten. Tungsten. Uh, letter W. Um, if we go, we're going to do an electron configuration for tungsten, so we're going to start with the last noble gas before it, which is xenon, so we say xenon. And then after xenon, we get to this section, that is the 6s section. I guess I needed to count my electrons, didn't I? So uh, we were at 54, there's 54 in uh, xenon, and there are 74 in tungsten, so we have 20 we have to place. We have to, put, to place 20 in there, so we've done two. After the 6s, we get to this section. Remember, that section is actually the F block crammed in to one space. Don't forget that. So that's the F block. So that is the 4F block, and it can hold 14, which means that we're getting very close to 20, because that's 16 now, 2 plus 14. And now, uh, we want to get to tungsten, and so uh, this section here is the 3, 4, 5 D. And with F's and D's, it gets a little tricky f uh, sometimes for people, so I just go with the totals. We know we need 20 electrons. We've got 16 already placed, so that means we need four more, which actually works. We go 1, 2, 3, 4th column for tungsten, and so it works out either way. So those are a couple of the noble gas uh, examples of noble gas shortcuts that you can do to save yourself some time. It doesn't want to seem to.